everyone this is the next video in the series about rest api validation in the first video we have covered basic validation the link of the video and the source code are given in the description box of this video go ahead and check out that in this video we are going to cover about the custom validator what if i want to have our own validator how we can do that so let's go ahead and get started so this is the project user management and this is the user dto which we validated and this is the input when you are adding this user to the system right and we used annotation at the rate valid and here at the rate validated annotation and this annotation is there for the path variable if there is uh, any path variable in your application and you want to validate that for which you have to add the at validated annotation right for others you have to this min max length not null email validation we did this and now we uh, um, in this video we are going to talk about the custom validator how we can do this so uh, for the custom validator use case i am uh, thinking that address should be some specific i have a list of address if it is not in one of those addresses addresses it should reject the uh, inputs right so let's go ahead and see how we can do that so first uh, how we, how we can start writing the custom uh, validator so let's first we should see the structure of this annotation that they already have right so what is there so it is a uh, custom annotation that they have written and this is the target retention repeatable and all these things constraint they have written right message groups payload so we should we should start like this right so first go ahead and create the java class and i want address I want to name it address validation and should be annotation type annotation so i am marking it so that at the rate interface is right here so for others it had some target retention and documented criteria so same thing i have to write so this comes when you are uh, writing the custom annotations these things that you should use right so target uh, where i want to use it right so for that uh, I want to use it at place right so uh, field field means uh, I want to use it at this place not any other so that is why we have target element at field and retention where I want it I want it at runtime all right so mean uh, what was the retention runtime right so that is why I have mentioned also that runtime right and next I want it to be documented right and then uh, next annotation we have constraint right this and here it takes one validated by you should specify the class so you have used this annotation there should be something to read this annotation and validate the criteria right so uh, i have to create one class address address validator now go ahead and create this class all right so let me copy it and create create new class this name it this now this class should implement constraint validator right so it is uh, it, it's taking two types first the annotation name and then the type which value it will pick right so not address validator right so it should be name of the annotation validation right so now i should implement the methods that are there right so i do not want to implement the initialize is valid it's sufficient for us right so this is it that we need right so this is a string that is type it is taking here and address validation is the name of the annotation that it has here right so it is the name of the annotation and inside annotation we are done uh, with this one inside address validation annotation if i show you here it has masses groups and payload so i need all this so this is how you can approach uh, writing your custom validator all right so payload and this you can so here uh, they have some default message i i can have my own message so uh, this is not the valid address right so this is the custom message i want and groups payload they are to be read by the validator only right so that uh, address validator that we are writing so this is it and now i am have some list of address and is dot as list so i have some list of addresses i want that only so so this is just my custom criteria that if address is not here so addresses dot contains value 
so whatever value whatever value of the address that you have given if it is not there in address it will reset those addresses right so huh? now our custom validation this annotation custom validator annotation is ready and how to validate that address whatever is entered is also ready for us right so this is here how we will validate it so now let's go ahead and use this one right so i want this to be used here address validation right so here this is it we are done so uh, i can give the custom message also right so if i give here i can give the message here custom message but if we are not giving that's not an issue it is going to pick the default that we have given here right so this is not the valid so if you are not giving this if you are not giving this default message then you have to provide the message right so now see it is throwing an exception right add missing annotation parameters so this is the case that um, this is how you proceed right so this come these are the criteria under under the no yeah so default message i want this only so you can approach right so the way the, that you want so i have shown you so this is it that we have to do address validation and address validator is also ready so start the application and check this if it is working or not so in our case we have taken this string parameter and you can go ahead further and have this address at some custom type and write the uh, custom validator for that also right so yeah that's not an issue so it's uh, you saw the approach that how you should proceed so you can uh, write any custom validator that you want so if you're facing any issue in writing so put that in comment section i am always here to help you out right so so application is running now so let me clear this out and hit this so we already have this swagger ui right so from the last video you are aware of this what is this all about so add user so i am going ahead and trying to add the user right so name address noida123 we are giving here but valid addresses are noida and daily so if i hit this other parameters are okay so let me give also here so this is the valid one so if i hit this so i should get the exception right yeah. error bad request and this is not the valid address at the address point it is failing and this point you can understand right so how it is uh, you can now understand how is this working right so if i enter the valid address it will hit it properly right so this is how you can write the custom validator and you can go ahead and play around with this more about it next video i am going to explain you the pattern validator right so there are not null length and this so there is one more annotation that is pattern annotation which is something related to regex how to do that we'll see in the next of video right so take care bye, bye and one more thing all the source code all the source code that i'm explaining here is coming here right so on this repository you can just clone it and download it and play around with this i'll see you in the next video with the pattern matcher Right, so take care. Bye bye.